God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Landmark Church of Holiness through Christ Outreach Ministry, located at 1523 West Washington Street in South Bend, Indiana, where we preach the gospel without compromise, the unadulterated, unmixed, true gospel of deliverance, reaching out to a dying world, letting you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Set your heart, your mind, your ears to receive this man of God who will show you the way to eternal life. Receive ye him, our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. God bless you. Every Sunday afternoon on Facebook Live, I apologize, at 1.30 p.m., on the page of Bishop Thomas H. Willis Jr. and to listen to our evening service every Sunday on WUBS 89.7 FM in South Bend, Indiana at 6.30 p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. We also have a Sunday School Conference call every Saturday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time taught by Evangelist Beverly Willis. The telephone number is 605-313-5142. And the access code is 388-999-POUND. If you're not able to tune in, you can listen to the playback number, which is 605-313-5153 with the same access code. If you carry your charges for this line, please hang up and dial 716-293-9720. Yeah. Yeah. Then dial the number and the access code. We are so happy to be able to share what God has put in our hearts and mind that you may be able to be blessed of God and strengthened in holiness. Now we will have prayer rendered by Evangelist Beverly Willis. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before your throne of grace. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for all the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us. Thank you, oh God, for waking us up this morning, clothing our right minds. Thank you, God, for life, health, and strength. Thank you for the activities of our limbs. Thank you, oh God, for watching over us and protecting us, keeping us safe from hurt, harm, and danger. Oh God, we ask that you bless, oh God, as we do this, this streaming, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, touch the hearts of all the listeners, oh God. Move by your power and your spirit, oh God. Lord, heal those that may be sick in their bodies, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, save such as should be saved according to your will in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, that you would bless the speakers on today, God, in the name of Jesus. Word their mouths, oh God. Let your anointing flow, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, as we put the word out, oh God, let it go forth and accomplish what you will, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we'll give you all the glory, honor, and praise for all that you do for us in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 Scripture, Sister Toshiba Frazier. Glory to God. God bless everyone. God bless you. I will be reading for your hearing Romans, the 8th chapter, and the 28th verse. Right. And we know that all things work together for good oh, yeah. to them that love God, yeah. to them who are called according to his purpose. Yeah. May God bless you. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. And now we will have an A selection rendered by Sister... Valerie Mosley, let's say amen for her. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. amen, everybody. Amen. Everybody say amen. 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 Right. amen. Serving the Lord, amen. it will pay off. After a while, can I get a witness? Serving the Lord will pay off. After a while, mm -hmm. just keep on working every day. Whatever is right, 
the Lord will pay. Serving the Lord, ooh, it will pay off. Hallelujah. After a while. Now you can sing it along with me. You have it now? Serving the Lord. Serving the Lord will pay off after a while. After a while. Mm -hmm. Serving the Lord will pay off after a while. After a while. keep on working just keep on working every day whatever is right whatever is right the Lord will pay the Lord will pay serving the Lord serving the Lord Ooh, it will pay off after a while Amen. And now we will have a B selection coming from our own brother, Mark Maxwell. Let's say amen yeah. for him. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now. Just now. Come to Jesus just now. He will save you. He will save you. He will save you just now. Just now. He will save you. He will save you. Just now, only trust Him, only trust Him, only trust Him. Just now, just now, only trust Him, only trust Him, just now. Just now, He will save you. He will save you. He will save you. Just now, just now, He will save you. He will save you. Just now. selection amen amen and now we will have the words of life coming from the ministers of God first we will have words coming from our pastor Bishop Thomas H. Willis Jr. let's say amen for him as he comes are y'all ready to have church are you ready to have church Oh, <laughs> 
excited about God. I don't know about y'all. I get excited. Amen. I didn't come to church to look like a sad sack. I come to glorify God. I come to magnify God. I come to lift up the name of Jesus. Oh my God. My God. My God. See, I don't want to go back home the same way I came. Y'all better hear me. I want to go back with some more power. Some more anointing. Some more joy. Somebody say joy, joy, joy. Get my secret in the old son of a holy. This is that. This is that that was spoken by the prophet, prophet Joel. That I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And my sons and daughters shall prophesy. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like having a dead service. Amen, amen. You got something to be thankful for. You still in the land of the living. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Some of y'all look like God ain't never did nothing for you. Come on now. You got up out of your bed, didn't you? He did something for you. You were able to breathe, wasn't you? So he did something for you. So you ought to give God, stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. He's worthy of the praise. Yeah. 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 Woo. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I feel it down on the inside. See, it's got to be in you. A well of water springing up. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Hey, man, I wouldn't dare go home the same way I came in. Load it down with the devil on your back. Shake the devil loose. Say, loose shell, you devil, you. I belong to God. Let me go. Let me go. The devil come to depress. Oppress. But God came to give you joy. Joy unspeakable. Hey, 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 hey. Woo. I feel it, Elder. I feel it because of the anointing. Every yoke. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but I feel it. I feel it. Hey Amen. Sometimes people waiting for folks to pump them up. Get them all up. You ought to be, you ought to come in here glorifying God. Am I right about it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now if you want you you want the devil to sit on your shoulder, go okay, go ahead. Let him sit on your shoulder. Go ahead. But for me and my house, we're gonna praise God. When I go home, I feel better when I get home. I can sleep when I get home. I can rest when I get home. I can look for God, amen, amen, to work in my behalf when I get home. Before I leave this house, I want to get something from God. It's all over me. And it's keeping me alive. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, I'm just telling you like it is. I ain't no show off. Y'all know I like this all the time. When I get up there, I got to praise God. Because the Bible told me to open my mouth wide 
Oh, 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 oh. He's open your mouth wide. And what are you going to do? Feel it. You ain't going to get nothing if you keep your mouth closed. But if you open your mouth wide. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know what? I, 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 I ain't used to getting into it. Get into it. You ain't got to get used to it. Get into it. When you was out in the world, you wasn't used to dancing out there neither. But you learned how to dance. You learned how to boogie. You knew how to shake your booty. Come over in church and get a, get a shame of the gospel. The devil is the lie. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. <laughs> oh, living, he loved me. Buried, he saved me. Carried me sins far away. Rising, he justified me. Free me forever. One day he's coming. What a glorious day. <laughs> Woo! He's coming. Amen. Yeah, How many know he's coming? Are you going up? Don't raise your hands. Are you going up? Only but the pure in heart shall see God. Am I right about it? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I ain't the speaker for tonight. Amen. But you know, I can get loose. I can get loose. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because I love God. I love speaking for God. I love singing for God. I love shouting for God. If I could shout like I used to when I was 40 years old, amen, I'd shout now. Amen. But God is real. And all, you out there that's listening to us on Facebook and YouTube, amen, you can glorify God too right there in your, in your bedroom. You can get in on the anointing. You can get in on the power of God. Amen, 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 amen. Don't you know sometimes a mule will shake? A horse will shake. I wouldn't let a mule beat me moving. And a horse beat me moving and praising God. Y'all better come on with me now. Yeah, give God a victory hand praise. Yeah. Yes. I love him. I love him, my sister. Because he first loved me. Because he sacrificed his life. Think about it. For you. And you. And you, and you, he died for you. That you won't be lost, so that you won't be lost. Do you hear what I'm saying? And I love him for it. I love God for it. I'm going to tell you, the more I stay in holiness, the more I love God. Look like my love for God increases the more. The more that I seek God, the love that I have for him, amen, gets, gets greater. Do you hear what I'm saying? it's better than, you know, loving your wife. You know, I love my wife, but I have a greater love for God. Because if my wife leaves God, I got to stay with God. I got to love God enough, amen, to stay with him regardless of whether, amen, fathers hold on and, and the sisters hold on. It's not all about them. It's all about you and God. Somebody say you and God. Me and God. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen, amen, and amen, amen. I will tell you, it's hallelujah anyhow. Anyhow. I don't care what you're going through, what you're feeling, and what you, amen, what's facing you. Amen. Say hallelujah. Anyhow. Amen. Because the devil is a what? The devil is a what? A liar. I can't hear you. A liar. I can say liar louder than you can, and I'm just by myself. Say liar! liar. There you go. There you go. There you go. Tell the devil he's a liar. Amen. You can't have my life, devil. Tell him you can't have my life. 
Amen. You got to let me go. You got to tell the devil, let you go. Yes. Amen. And even if you don't want to let you go, you got to, amen, you got to pull away from him. Yes. Come on, you got to pull away from him. Well, the devil just won't let me go. Amen. I'm going to let him go. Amen. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. I had to let him go. Yes. And I've been saved now for almost 40, almost 46 years. That's a long time. Hey, but you know what? My eyes are set on God. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's bring our first speaker for today. Amen. Somebody that I've known for years. I knew her all her life. Amen. My sister. Not only my sister in the Lord, but my only sister. Amen. Evangelist. Amen. Ernestine Willis. Come all the way from Alabama. Amen. To be with us today. To give us a few words of encouragement or whatever, however God will move in our life. Amen. Amen. Come on, Evangelist. Let God use you. Give God a victory hand and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, Brother Tom. All right. You lit it up in here today. Yes. Hallelujah, but it's the power of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I didn't come in all the way from Alabama to look at you all, Amen. but I come to bring the word of God. Word of God. Right. See, the word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Right. Yeah, glory to God. Like they said, we don't have to pump you. We don't have to, you don't have a flat tire. So we don't have to put air in you to pump you up, to praise God. But it's the Christ that lives within me. Amen. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the highest praise. I bring greetings from Gethsemane House of Prayer, right. which our pastor is Pastor McNeese right. and his lovely wife, Evangelist McNeese. Right. I thank God for taking us over the highways Amen. safe and sound, Amen. getting here in good pieces. Amen. You could have heard about us over the highways, but... God had the will. Amen. I said he had the will. Amen. Amen. I started nodding off a little bit coming here. And all I had to do is shake. Shake my head. And when I began to shake my head, my eyes became open. Wide and wide. But I thank God that we made it here. I didn't want to scare them and tell them I was going to sleep. All right. So I just kept it quiet and began to pray. But God... Is good. God is good. I said, God is good. Yes. And without God, I can't do anything. Amen. And without God, my whole life will fail. Amen. 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 I was going to start from the book of Genesis, the very first chapter. All right, now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the very first chapter. That's all right. All right. Yes. The beginning. The beginning. Uh -huh. The beginning. The start. Yes. We all have a beginning Amen. in our life. Yes. And we all know that in the beginning, God created. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. God created yes. this heaven, Go the heaven it. and the earth. Yes, he did. And when he created the heaven and the earth, yes. he didn't make no mistake. No. He did not make a mistake. Yeah. And I'm standing here to let you know that is the title, the beginning yeah. of God's creation. Yeah. 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 And we are God's creation. Oh, yeah. Amen. But during that time, when he started creating the earth, 
other things were created. Amen. The grass, yes. the birds, Amen. the stars, on, the moon. Amen. All of that was created by God. By God. Amen. Not by man, not by astrology. Amen. They think they're taking care of the lights, I mean the, uh, the, 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 the lightning mm -hmm. and different things that happen in the world, yeah. but God. See, all he has to do is just speak the word. Yes. Speak. Yes. Come forth. What happened? Hey. Y'all yes. don't hear me. All right, all right. Come on. When God begins to speak, yes. we move. Yes. But let me take this back. A lot of us don't move when God say move. All right, all right now. Let's think, let's think about. When God spoke and said, let there be light, yes, yes. Amen. the light obeyed. Yes, amen. I said the light obeyed. Yes, amen. It said, let there be darkness, yes. and there was darkness. Amen. Come on now. But we look at this thing here. Mm -hmm. As he begins to create the world, mm -hmm. then he began creating the man mm -hmm. on down on the 27th chapter of Genesis. Yeah. He speaks about creating man. Mm -hmm. Now you all hear me say man. man. Man was the first thing God created. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And God went and he made Adam from the dust of the earth. And when he made Adam from the dust of the earth, he said he's going to make male and female. Mm -hmm. He said male and female. That's right. When he made the female, he made her as a helpmate. Mm -hmm. He didn't say as a boss mate, but he said he made her <laughs> as a helpmate. When he made Adam, he made Adam to have dominion. He said Adam to have dominion. And when he made Eve, he made Eve from the rib, from his rib. I said from the man's rib. And when he made Eve, he called her woman. Yes, amen. He called her woman. Amen. I, I don't think there's no way he called her he man. He called her woman. Woman, woman, woman he took, I'm sorry, he called her woman. Y'all excuse me. Because woman had a womb All right. All right. where she can bring forth mm -hmm. and multiply. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. And she began to multiply. Yeah. So in this verse here, we're going to talk about the creation of man. Okay. Okay. Creation is to bring forth. And God, like I said, repeat, make man in his own image. Amen. We are God's image. Amen. In him we move, yeah. we live, and have our being. Amen. Without God, we can't do anything. And without God, our whole life will fail. And see, when God created the man, he created the man to be over everything that was on the earth. Right. Yeah, that's right. And then he had his, help, his milkmate, which was Eve. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
But old Eve decided she would stray away from him in the garden. And there was a fruit in the garden of evil and good. And Eve, I can imagine her smiling when God had already told them, Thou shalt not. He spoke to them and said, Thou shalt not. But you know how us women is. Oh, and I can imagine her saying, oh, that fruit looks so good. He's somewhere being busy doing something else while Eve is over there looking at the fruit tree <laughs> and said, oh, Lord. And before he ever known it, he, he, he done already, she done already done ate off the fruit of the tree. Come on. But God told him not to touch the tree. Amen. And that woman, I tell you, we women. I'm talking about myself too. They decide to get together. They came together. And what happened? They looked at each other like we looked at each other too, look crazy. What did I do wrong? But they already knew what they did wrong. And they and when they ate of the fruit of the tree. They became naked. Today, the same way in life, today, the husband and the wife, the man does not have control, but he has authority over the woman. Right, say that, say that. I said he has authority over that woman. Right. Most of the times, when God put a man over a woman, the woman must follow the right way. Okay, let me, let me say that again. The woman shall follow the right way of that man. God do speak to women, oh, yes. but when you have someone over you, mm -hmm. you have to ask for permission. Is it okay, baby, if I do this? All right. All right. All right. Is it okay that I do that? Come on. All right. Come on now. So many men and women has fallen by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the disobedience of God. Without God, we won't be here today. And as I began, began to speak, I was telling someone, we all have a beginning. Where did our beginning start? When we were first born into this world. But how did we take our beginning? Did we take a into sin, or did we take it into salvation? Because we know in the, in the book of John, the first chapter, even though God created the heaven and earth, the word was with God, and the word was God. So when we speak the word, it's the word of God. We must obey the word of God. Amen. Whatever he allows us to speak, we must speak what he says speak. Yes. Yes. Right. Amen. Let me go back to this man. Right. Man has power over the woman. Y'all looking at me. Man has power, when I say power, over her body. Yeah. 
That's one reason why God put man first and woman to help him. If the man ain't right with God, how can he tell you what to do in the spiritual realm? The man has to let you know what to do when it comes down to the spiritual realm. If he disobeying God, he's not listening to what God tell him to do. What you think the woman and children going to do? He had to have an ear to hear what the Spirit says unto the church, which is us. We are the church. The knowledge of man. The knowledge of women. That's two different knowledges. God gives women knowledge to bring forth. How to bring forth a child. Men just plant the seed. He planted the seed into the woman. So this means that, man, you got to stand your ground. You must stand your ground. When it comes down to your family, you must stand your ground. He didn't say go one way and she go another. She in the streets and you in the church. But the, the word of God, I'm going around circles now, y'all. And it says that we are sanctified. We're sanctified by the, by the wife, by the, by the wife, I mean by the husband. And the husband is sanctified by the woman. Y'all know where I'm going. Amen. Go ahead, go ahead. So man is the head and not the tail. Amen. He's above and not beneath. Right. So when we speak of these things, as being one, we become one, and in, in the in in the in the spirit, and one in the flesh. When I married Mr. Adams, before I married Mr. Adams or Brother Adams, I became I was a Willis, and my name was changed to Adams. I'm carrying a strong name. And I recognize that name. And, and when I say I recognize that name, I also recognize God. So no, no matter what, we can't change the word of God. Because it's a non-effect. We cannot change the word of God. Glory to God. There's none like him. None. And for, for, we, for we know in the book of Colossians, the first chapter, we know that all things were created. Well, every, I hear people say, well, God put everything down here. Yes, he did. He put everything down on her, earth. But how do you use it? Right. It depends right. on how on you use it. He did create everything here on the earth, but how do you use it? Amen. <laughs> do you use it in the right way? Or do you use, do you use it in the wrong way? Well, God, he shouldn't have put these things down here if he ain't expect for us to do this or do that. I think you got that wrong, brother. I think you got that wrong, sister. Every clean thing. See, man themselves created a lot of things for people to sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we thank God that he is the head of our life. 
We must recognize him as being God. Hallelujah. But in my closing, search yourself. Search yourself. And say, God, I know you created me. God, I know you gave me breath. But God, how am I going to use the breath that you have given me? How are we going to use it? We here to do the work for the Lord. No matter what. We must do the work of the Lord. You're looking at all these different type of diseases and different things going around. And we don't look at, this could have been me with COVID-19. But God, but God, but God, not man, but God. He's the creator. All he, had, all he did was spoke the word. Hey. He's, all he do is speak. Things begin to move. Things begin to get out the way. Ha. Huh, glory. Speak. Speak things into existence. Not negative things, but speak things into existence. And when you begin to speak it, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Things begin to happen. I said things will begin to happen. If you speak sickness, you're going to be sick. It's in the power of the tongue. Whatever you speak, is you. But it begin to speak with the power and the anointing of God. And watch God begin to move. So when God begin to move, get out of the way now. I said get out of the way now. Because when he speak, and say, peace be still. Amen. There should be peace. Amen. There should be peace in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is good all the time. I said, God is good all the time. I said, all the time. God is good. God bless you. Every word of God is right. Hallelujah to his name. Amen. That was beautiful. Amen. It gets quieter when you start talking about the women and the men. Amen. But if it hits you, just say ouch. Do better and just keep on going. Amen. God didn't tell tell a woman to take control. Amen. Come on now. God did God God knew who he wanted to be in control. And man, you gotta stand up and be a man. And that don't mean you got to slap her. That don't mean you got to fuss at her. That don't mean you're supposed to curse her out. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I'm, I'm just picking up where she left off. I'm the man. I'm the man. You're a poor excuse of a man <laughs> when you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. Amen. You do your part and she do her part. Am I right about it? <laughs> Come on now. Amen. She got to always pick up behind you. You know, you slow doing everything. Don't want to wash. Don't want to do this. Sometimes they don't even want to take a bath. 
Somebody got to make you take a bath. Y'all better come on with me now. Y'all better hear me now. Hey, but stand up and be what God called you to do. Is be a man. And you ain't got to tell her I'm a, I'm a man. She know you a man. She know you ain't got the same thing she got. You just don't know who I am. Yeah. Right now you acting a fool. <laughs> that preacher, I'm going to tell you, boy, I'm going to tell you like it is. Amen. Be a man and a woman be a woman. And let, a, let, the, let the man be a man, woman. Did you hear what I'm saying? Let him be who he is. Amen. Amen. She ain't got to kiss your feet. I'm going to say that again. She ain't got to kiss your feet. Uh oh. When you start getting on them, them marriages and stuff like that, boy, it gets real quiet. That's another subject. It gets real quiet, you know. And then you got some women saying, see, that's why I don't want no man. Every man ain't like that. Don't be looking at somebody else's man and talking about, that's why I don't want to get married. Well, stay single then. <laughs> and don't be in a hurry to get married. I'll be so glad when I get a hug. I'll be so glad. Amen. And then when you get one, I'll be so glad when God take him. I know what I'm saying is right. Yeah, yeah. Elder, you better pray for me. <laughs> Amen. You got to take this. This thing got to be in your home. Amen. It ain't just about shouting and dancing in the church and your house is all upside down. All turned upside down. I preach marriage here. We were taught about marriage here. That's how come we last 46 years going on 47. Because we listen to somebody. I'm the man in my house. Can't no man tell me what to do. That's why you acting a fool. That's why you in jail. Because can't nobody tell you nothing. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. I don't have to stick my chest out. Mm -mm. I just be me. And she honors me and I honor her. We honor each other. Amen. All that cat and dog fight in the house, that don't make no roo, 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 all that in the house. And you supposed to, both of y'all supposed to be saved. And the neighbors can hear you arguing. And you're going to try to bring them to Christ. They said, uh uh, not like that. <laughs> Me and my husband get along. You, you. <laughs> Sometimes they see how you get along. They don't want your salvation. How many know I'm right about it? Sometimes, men, we do have to be quiet. Uh-oh. I didn't hear the men say amen or nothing. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes we do have to be quiet. Amen. I ain't going into that. Mm -mm. When, it, when, when, when I see something coming, I ain't going into that now. I'm just, yeah. It don't mean I'm scared. And I'm the man. I'm trying to keep peace. And then the other person say, oh, you ain't saying nothing. You ain't saying nothing now. You must be scared. I ain't scared. <laughs> I'm just doing what God told me to do. Hold your peace. <laughs> Am I right about it, minister? Hey, blessed are the peacemaker. Yeah. You got to say the last word. I'm the man. I got to say the last word. Why? You'll constantly be going on from 1 o'clock to 1 o'clock the next day. Arguing, mad, fussing, and fighting. I don't believe in that. 
I don't believe in that. Mm -mm, I don't believe in that fussing and fussing. And, uh, shut up. <laughs> Can I say this? Both of y'all shut up. I'm going to say it again. Both of us just shut up. Yeah, we could tell you how to, how to do in your own home. Come on now. We're supposed to tell you. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible to tell you how to do in your own house. Love your wife as you love yourself. That's in the book. Get mad if you want to. I don't care. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You want a good house? You want a perfect house? Amen. And that doesn't mean you're not going to have any arguments. Disagreements. But it's how you handle that. Somebody give God a victory hand pray. Sometimes you even try to counsel. Sometimes you try to counsel marriage folks. And, and some of them sometimes get to arguing and whatnot in the, in the, in the, in the marriage counseling. Yeah. Sometimes you have to tell them now, well, hold, be, hold it now. Hold it. You have to be the referee. For real. You have to be the referee. Bishop you, Bishop, you just don't know. See, because he, uh, he, he, he. What do you do? <laughs> None. Stop lying. Y'all better pray for me. It go both ways. Come on now. God send you somebody. Amen. He know when to send it. Come on now. Because he don't want you to get to the place you be glad that that little rascal gone. And vice versa. I know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> All right, just bear along with us a little bit. We got another sp speaker, a man of God, amen, who, who preaches the holiness or hell. And I love when he talk about the devil. Oh, man, that devil of a dog. I can't stand in that devil of a dog. <laughs> when we were younger, we used to, we used to mark him. He said, how the hell is Taylor doing that? devil of a dog or can't stand the devil of a dog. <laughs> and he's still talking about the devil of a dog. He's still crying loud. He's still sparing not. He's still lifting up his voice like a trumpet. Amen. God bless you. Elder John Taylor. Amen. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. If you got him, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I mean, if you really got Jesus out in your soul, you ought to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Woo. Did you know when you got him, honey, you can't help but to clap and praise and give him glory, everybody. Amen. We thank God today. Amen. But what we've already heard, I don't know about you, but I come out today to get something from the Lord. The pastor was saying, I'm not, I'm not going to leave the same way I came. Amen. It's God's will today that you be blessed. Are you listening? I say, you didn't come out here for naught. How many come expecting, looking for God? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. What you need, God got it. Amen. We honor God today. We thank God for this, amen, beautiful day that the Lord has blessed. One more time. To be in fellowship with my beloved brother, amen, and Bishop, amen, Thomas Willis. Amen. He's doing a good work out here in South Bend, Indiana. Oh, yes, he is. Amen. I'm telling you, I, my mind goes back when we didn't have nobody but just, I believe, his mother and, and his wife. But he kept on moving. Amen. Next thing you know, mother, well, mother passed. But did he stop? No. Kept on driving those highways and coming here. And Amen. I believe it was a time when they probably just preached to one another. But Amen. Praise every God to everybody. Amen. So I just give, give honor to him today that the Lord has blessed us. And amen. You come out today and you're going to get something for your soul. Oh, yeah. God going to do something in this place today. Amen. You didn't drive all that way over the highway for nothing. Amen, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. You come out. You come expecting God to bless you. Amen, everybody. 
Amen. God bless you. What I've, again, I say, if what I've already heard, thank God for it. Amen. Talking about the family. Amen. How many know the family got to be together? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Family got to be together. Amen. Amen. Let me say this, too. You're going to have misunderstandings. Uh, I heard a preacher say one time, my wife and I, we never fuss. We never argue. I said, no, no, that's not true. They've been married for so many years. I said, I guess what he called arguing. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, you're going to have some misunderstanding. Oh, yeah, you go have, sometimes you might walk around and close some doors and don't shut down. I don't want to hear from you. Close the door. Shut the door. <laughs> slam the door. Now they don't close. They don't, they don't just say, very nice. They slam the door. Oh, y'all don't you act like you don't know what I'm talking about. That means don't bother me. I'm upset. <laughs> Amen, everybody. Well, praise the Lord. How I many know we got to seek for peace? We got desire that peace and sometimes you got to know how to hold your peace amen, amen. sometimes you got to know how to shut it down because do you not know women love to talk uh -oh. most women love to talk you know why it, it's something they want to get off their chest per se it's something they got to say and they don't like holding stuff they like to get it out are y'all listening to me amen it's on me and i gotta say it so what, what's happening here, let me tell you something. What needs to be done, and that is communication. You want to have a clear, nice communication. Amen. You follow? Between one another. Amen. Not all of us trying to find fault on this one, trying to find fault on that one, pinpointing. Amen. If, so what, they forgot to close the door. Don't make a big issue out of it. You forgot. Why are you, man, what's smart of it, you woman? You close that door. No, that ain't nothing to get all upset about. Just run over there and just close the door. Are y'all listening to me? How many know the devil will magnify things? He wants you fussing. He wants you to argue. He wants you to be all contentions. And con he wants all that stuff. Shout amen, everybody. Glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sometimes I get a little excited. I'm saying, is that all right, everybody? Amen. You should know the truth. And the truth what? Amen. Yeah, you can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Well, you see, Brother Taylor, sometimes I get all excited, I get upset, and sometimes it's kind of hard for me to close my mouth. But I, now, I know, I, I know I've been riding him, I've been riding her, and I've been talking, I've been saying some things. I, you know what? I found out some things, and now I, I got to listen here. Real quick, I want to say this. You, you check this out. You ever notice women? I'm talking to the women. And the men, too. If you ever notice now, watch it. Now, he's been treating you so, talking to you, talking down to you, just talking all type of stuff, degrading, I mean, just ridiculing, persecuting you, just talking about you. I mean, putting his foot, just talking about you. Now, all of a sudden, at night, <laughs> the lights go dim. Now, he done made an about face now. He done turned it, oh, who am I? Oh, he's all sweet now. Now, baby, sugar, baby. Oh, sweetheart, baby. He feels something. Y'all actually, you don't know what I'm talking about. But how I many know that man, instead of trying to, tr trying to get next to you, per se, or come close to you, or you two come together, how I many know apology is in, in, in order? Don't come, hey, hey. I said I, I, didn't want, I, didn't want, I didn't want to comment too much on that, bitch. But don't call, that's not the way they do it. That's not the way you handle it. Listen, she's delicate. She's wonderful. She's, tell her about it. Don't, don't, oh, you're married, you didn't. You know, that's all right, you're married. But tell me something. Let me know how good. Let me know how you, what you think about me. Maybe she's a bit out of shape. Maybe she's a little jug-like, but that's your jug. You love every bit of it from head to toe. Thank you. Woo. Let her know, baby, you're looking good to me. You ain't got to feel nothing. You ain't got to feel like you're having to come together. Let her know. Well, she ought to read my mind. Not so. She can't read your mind. Tell her. Let her know. She want to hear those good things. Shout amen. Some people are like this. It's so quick to jump on your daughter when you do wrong. But when you do good, they don't say nothing. Honey, you ought to 
let her know that, honey, sweetheart, you've been, ooh, that dinner, that, ooh, you cooked it so wonderful. And then a little bit more precise, specific, ooh, that gravy, that, ooh, baby, my God, it was good. Shout it, man, everybody. Let her know. She want to hear from you. Don't take it for granted. Tell her. Well, I'm married, I did not. Well, tell her. Oh, I, that's why I got to stand in front of the camera. No, no, no. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? She loved. See, women, they love to hear good things. That's why they love that. Some of them love that perfume. They love to smell good. Amen, everybody. But when you, t when you said things, listen, let me tell you this, and I got to get into this lesson. St. Luke, the 22nd chapter. Let me tell you something. Romance for a woman. Romance for a woman? It don't start in the bedroom. <laughs> Can you see that? It don't start. No. No. It's what you're doing before they get in your bedroom. Sometimes you'll be surprised. Seek the please, sir. Sometimes you'll be surprised. Just a little stroke of the hair. Are y'all listening to me? A little tenderness. Amen. You'll be surprised when you begin to tell how sweet. Listen, brother. Yeah, you say. Thank God you say. Sister, you say, yeah, but you still let her know, honey, you're looking mighty fine today. Sad, sad. No, don't, do, don't do it like this now. Y'all hear me? Don't tell her like this. Oh, you're looking fine. Man. No, no, she don't think you mean it. But when you begin to show that gentleness, that sweetness, I'm going to say it like this. That turn her on, brother. Oh, you got to know how to be a little gentle, show a little kindness. You see, it takes a little bit. You got to see, uh, with a woman affection, it's deep. You got to work. You got to know how to work. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Dwell with her according to knowledge. Now, I'm not going to tell you to bring your wife some candy. If my, I, my wife, she likes flowers. So I'm not going to tell you to do that. Maybe your wife don't like flowers. Uh, maybe your wife don't like candy. But you got to seek to please whatever it is. Y'all follow? Amen. Amen. You got to seek to please her. Am I right about it? You dwell with her according to knowledge. Are you listening? Amen. Don't try to compare. Don't, don't, you, don't do this, please. Don't say, well, my mother, she, she cooked it this way, and my mother, she did this, and my mother. Well, that makes her feel mighty small. And as a matter of fact, that can be an insult. I spent all this time over this hot stove, and you telling you about my real mama cooked biscuits brown? I can't help it. Maybe I did cook them a little browner. But don't compare me to your mother. Shame on! Woo! It's hot already. It's hot in this pulpit. I feel it. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I didn't get up to say all of that. It's just missionary and his scene. He said, he said, she said it right. She told it right. Amen, everybody. Amen. I'm going to tell you right now, daughter, the devil don't like you. He don't like none of us. But the devil don't like you, daughter. The words you said was wonderful. Amen. They was, ah, glory. Amen. The words you said, daughter, was wonderful. Amen. The devil, he's a lying, stinking devil. That's who I want to. I might glorify, hey, I did say that, and I preached that, didn't I? <laughs> Still preaching it. The devil is a liar. What well, glory, everybody? Hallelujah. Oh, glory. You ain't got a pump. You ain't got a prime of saint. And into his courts with praise. Praise is comely among the saints of God. They know if they praise God, when the praises goes up, the blessing surely will come down. Open your mouth and give him praise, somebody. Woo, come on, you can do better than that. Come on, you can do better than that. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say glory. Woo, hallelujah. My God, think about it. I want you to think about it. All of this virus that's in the air, it's going around killing. I mean killing people on the thousands and thousands and taking lives. Look around you and see your God says hi. 
He neither sleep, neither does he slumber. Our God, your God, he watches over you. Shout him on. I said, shout him on. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Do you think for one moment that I'm going to come to this church when I look back and see nothing but a God could bless me like this. Nothing but a God could help me like this. Nothing but a God that can keep me, bless me, help me. Do you think for one moment when I look back and see where he brought me from all down through the years God brought me. God help you. God brought you through. God bless you. God, God, oh, somebody help me say God. Nobody but God. Glorify him today. Do you think for one moment I'm going to sit and look at you? Honey, you got another thing coming. I've come to praise him. Shout him on. I've come to give him glory. Woo. Woo. Something good is going to happen to you today. Something good. He's here right now. Jesus ain't passing. He's here right now. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's here right now, my brother. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hallelujah! I heard God say. I got to get to this lesson. St. Luke 22, 31, my daughter. But listen to what God said. God said it. I didn't say it. God brought it to my mind. He put it in my spirit. Can I say it? God said, I'm going to give you more power. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. How many want more power today? How many want more power? Honey, you need it. You need it. You need it. Lift your hands and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now clap your hands and give him praise. God said it. How many want more power? Those of you on the altar seeking for the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is for you today. Well, Lord, don't you give up. Uh -uh. Don't you give up. Don't you dare stop. Amen. Asking God. God just says, yours for the asking. Don't you know when the Holy Ghost come, after the, the Holy Ghost has come, you shall receive. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You're going to need that power, honey. No, I hear you tell you, I'm here to tell you, every one of you that are saved and sanctified. You hear me today? You in a warfare. Are you listening to me? Your adversary, who's the enemy, the devil. He don't want you. He didn't want you to come to church today. Can I get a witness? The devil didn't want you to come to church today. He did all he could to stop you. But hey, thank God you had a made up mind. I'm going to church today. I say, hey, man. I'm going and I'm going in the name of the Lord because I want something from God. Woo! Shout amen. Luke, St. Luke 22. Amen. 31, I believe it is. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus is here today in the presence of his spirit in the presence of his might it's not by my little might it's not by my little strength but it's all about the holy ghost paul said it like this in power and demonstration of the power of the holy ghost amen everybody god's going to do something for you today he want to pull down listen to what the holy ghost said i want to pull down that old stronghold good god Woo, only god can do that honey and it comes by the preaching of the gospel. Not a shame of it because it is the power of God. Hallelujah to God. Amen. In the name of the Lord. All right. Let's read. St. Luke 22, 31. And the Lord said. Listen to what the Lord said. Y'all ready to hear what the Lord said? Listen. Are you listening? Are you listening to what I said today? I said, are you listening? Are you ready to hear what the Lord said? Yes. Speak, Lord. Speak. Speak. And the Lord say, come on. What did Simon? he say? Oh, he's talking to Peter now. Simon. Don't, don't you know the Lord knows your name? Yes, he does. Woo. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He knows you've been going he through. Knows. Some he knows you've been traveling. You've been going through some hardship here. Hallelujah. He knows, he knows exactly how far he brought you. Hallelujah. Yes. He knows that you've been going through with the devil. Come on. He knows you've been wrestling with that lion stinking them. He knows all about it. He knows all about it. Hallelujah to God. Don't you never think God don't know. Well, somebody said, I haven't prayed. But God said, your heavenly father knows. He knows. Before you even ask, yes, God he Almighty knows. Yes, he knows. Hear me today. God Almighty knows that you're going to have some trouble up ahead. Yes, yes. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on, come on. 
How many know sometimes when you get over that, get over this, here comes something else? Something else, amen. Look like before amen. you can get over that, here comes something else. Come on. Amen, manifold temptation. Yes. Let me tell you something, you fight the devil, guess what, he's coming back. Amen. Yes. Amen, everybody. You gotta be, listen, let me tell you something. You want to be prepared to come fight on. the devil? Come to church. Yes. Uh -oh. Come to church and get yes. the word. Amen. And hear what your pastor said. Yes. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on, come on now. Amen, everybody. Yes. Praise the Lord. We're in this fight, but you're coming out victorious. Yes. Ain't saying nothing to me today. Come on. I say you're in this fight, but you're coming out victorious. All right now. God is saying to you today, listen, young and old, did not our God bring you this far? Thank you, Jesus. Did not our God brought you through? Yes. When yes. the devil wanted to take you out, I said, not so. All right now. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. I say, hey, amen, everybody. Amen. When the devil said, I got him now, I got him. Yes. But God said, not so. How many know you broke loose? Hallelujah. Thank God you're here today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you this. Getting back to this home thing, this, this trouble in the home and arguing all this stuff. Hear me today. She said it right. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of disturbance going on. But how many know when Jesus stepped out on that Come on. boat and there was a raging sea? Yes. What did he say? Woo. He spoke the word. Yes. And that's what I'm telling you today in that home. Y'all hear me. Hear me good. Hear me good. Yes. When there's trouble and confusion in your home. Yes. And you know for yourself, really, I haven't done anything. Sometimes it's the devil. Yes. That's right. The adversary. Amen. He will whisper. Listen to this. He'll whisper one thing in your ear. Mm -hmm. He's an instigator. Then he'll turn right around and says, he would look how he's looking at you. All right, now, look yeah. how he, he just, he don't, he don't love you. He this and he that. He's an accuser of the brethren. Yes. Honey, he want to see you bigger. He want to see you, amen, everybody, at one another throat per se. That's what the devil wants. But you don't have to give him no place. Rebuke the devil. Hey. Say, please be still. Shout amen. Hey. Peace. Peace. Be still. Yes. That's right. Hey Amen. Y'all hear me today. How many got the Holy Ghost? How many got the Holy Ghost? How many got yes. saved, delivered, sanctified? How many have been born again, regenerated? How many have been washed in the blood of the Lamb? I'm here to tell you today, listen, you can take authority over that devil. You don't have to take what he dish out, what he give you. You can take authority over him. Say, devil, listen to me. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm no preacher and all this other stuff. These signs shall follow them that believe. Yes. You can speak to that devil. Call him what he is. That's you hear me? Are y'all yeah. listening to me? Amen. Amen. That's what the devil tried to intimidate you on. You ain't got no title. You ain't no preacher. You ain't this and you ain't no missionary. You ain't got to be no missionary or teacher. Yes. Honey, I give you power. Yes. yes. Power over all the power. powers of the devil. Amen. You got the power. Power. Use it. Call the Amen. devil a lie. Shame man. Praise the Lord. That ain't nobody mad but the devil. Amen. That devil, I can see him now. In my spiritual eye, he's smoking mad. Mm -hmm. You ever seen smoke come from a chimney? <laughs> that devil is mad. He know I'm on his tail. I'm on his tail. And he don't want you to hear what I'm telling you today. Because right. he wants you to feel defeated. Yes. Feel. Isn't that that now? Feel, feel, feel. Yes. How many know that you shall walk by faith and not by feeling? Yes, you see, you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Sometimes you can't always go by how you feel. Amen. Do you believe God can do it? I don't feel. No, you got to have faith enough to believe that God can do it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Do you believe God can do it, daughter? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do you believe oh, yes. God can heal today? Yes. Do you believe God will deliver today? Yes. Do you believe God is a merciful God? Oh, yes. He won't just cast you aside. All right. Now you and your foolishness, you might do some foolish things. Right. But how many know God is a merciful God? Yes, he is. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Oh, yes, he is. He's not like folks put your put their foot on you and amen, make it worse and call your names and all that us. God is saying, I forgive. Yes. Come on, hon. Come on, son. I forgive you. I love you. Ooh, glory to God today. Amen. Hallelujah to God. He, he's long-suffering. He's yes, not a he God is. that just casts you off. Yes. Amen. Cast you to the side. But God so loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I said on, God come loves come you. Come oh, glory to God. Amen. Do you love me, brother? Yeah, I've done wrong. That's all right. Confess. Ask God to forgive you. Yes. He said, I'll pick him up. Yes. Can I say it like that? 
I will wash you, I'll cleanse you if thou shalt confess thy sins to the Lord. Ask God to forgive you. Don't, yeah, you may be flat on your back. Maybe the devil done knocked you down. Get out from there. Don't wallow in it. Get out from there. That's the Lord. To, amen. Do it one more time. Help me, Lord. I need help. Hallelujah. Now, if you find yourself can't but say things that are filthy and unclean, listen to me. If you find that happening to you, honey, you need a washing. You need a deliverance. You need God to save you. Temptation's going to come, brother. The devil don't care if you... Amen. You got a wife or no wife. Right. That matters less with the devil. He's still coming. Yeah. Right. Women out there dressed all practically naked now. Yeah. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I said they tight. You can see everything. Every crack, everything. Yeah. And don't let them bend over. You'll see everything. And brother, oh, turn that head. Don't you keep looking and staring. Yeah. Shame on. Yeah. I said shame on. Yeah. She bent over. She showed all this and all that. Tight pants and everything. They ain't blushing, brother. Come on now. Did they blush? No. No. But thanks be unto God that gives the victory, my yes, sister. Yes, amen, amen. You're dead to sin, but alive unto God. I don't care if she's buck naked. That don't move me. All right, now. Shame, All man. Right, I'm man. a dead man. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm crucified with Christ. Yeah. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. But it's a Christ. Yeah. And I life, the life I live, I live by the faith of the Son yeah. of God. Yeah. Dead to sin. Yes. Yeah. Amen, brother. That devil, like I told you, that devil don't care if you're married or single woman or man. Amen. Especially when things are not going so good in your home. That devil going to ride your back. He's going to ride like he never before. He's going to try to tempt you with every hand. Amen. Well, that's all right. Maybe she did turn over and, and, and do what you want that night. And you're going to feel it, too. The devil going to rub it in. He's going to say, but I tell you what you do. Are you listening to me? I'm, I'm bringing this thing right at home. You know what he's going to say? Hey, I tell you what you do. Look at pornography. Turn that cable on. Turn that, oh, what you call it, that, that cable. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Turn that adult cable, whatever it might, it might be called. And look at some of these naked women. And get your thrill off of them. I'm telling you about the devil. And the Lord said unto Simon, Simon who? Amen. Behold, yeah. Satan hath desired to have you. That he may sift you as wheat. That he may destroy you. Yes. Amen. The devil ain't no good, folks. Amen. No boyfriend, no girlfriend. Uh-oh, mighty quiet. Well, come on. No shocking up. Say it, say it. What you call it, that love thing they call husband, mm -hmm. they've been living for so long, common law. Yeah. Just don't, brother, what you, 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 you meddling now. You're in my business. Yeah, the word of God is in your business, That's honey. That's right. Amen. It's quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Amen. No boyfriend, no girlfriend. I don't care how long. Uh-uh, you got to do it right, honey. Amen. Marriage is honorable and all in the bed under foul. You got to do it according to God's word. Say that. Say that. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Come on. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me all now. Right. Oh, my God, my God. You better teach your children to. No boyfriend and no girlfriend. Amen. Well, they're doing it at school. They got a boyfriend and a girlfriend at school. They got, what do they know? A little, little 13, 12 or 13. I'm in love. Who are you in love with? I'm in love with Junior. I'm in love with Charlie. I'm in love. What they know about life? Talking about they in love. Luke said, you foul devil, you. All right. Amen. Amen. They we're sleeping in a dangerous time. Yes. Right. Praise the Lord. We gotta come to church. We gotta keep our ears open. Yes. Because we need this word. We need yes, it. Yes, yes, we do. Yes, you we need do. every bit of it. I'm not Amen. up to try to please you. No, no. Whatever I tell you to preach, Brother Taylor, you preach that. Amen. Now, what if they don't like it, Lord? You preach it. You tell them. Tell them what I said. That's right. In the church school lesson, you read it. Before he said, told that prophet, told not prophet that. King, he said, go and kill everything. Mm -hmm. Don't spare nobody. So is God saying today, today to the preachers, amen, cry out and spare not. Yeah. Well, Lord, I may lose some friendship. They may not look at me so good. That's all right, too. Preach what I tell you to preach. Preach whether they like it or not. Tell it whether they approve of foul at you. Some of them people, some people look at you in a strange eye. They give you a strange face. But he told Brother Jeremiah, he said, fear not because of their faces. Don't draw back. Don't be afraid. Preach what I tell you to preach. 
Don't seek to please the folks. Obey me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Well, it's right. Come on. Amen. I preached so one night, and this is the truth. Come on. But God told me to preach, and I obeyed God. He said, preach my word. I said, yes, Lord. You're talking about a crowd. There was a crowd of people. Y'all ever heard of the, amen, the staple singers and all those yes, people? Yes, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. I think it was straight as a, ooh, maybe close to a thousand people or more. I, I could be mistaken. But it was all against the wall, per se. There was no standing room like. Right. But praise be unto God. God said, preach. <laughs> Tell them the truth, fellow Taylor. Yes. Preach my word. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. My God, at the end of it, when it was all said and done, some folks wanted to kill little brother Taylor. Mm. Woo, yes, 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 yes. My God. Amen. It was, this word was for the young and the old. The old grandmama, she walking around all tight, got out showing her slip and her underclothes and all that other stuff. Yes. Let them know it's according to the word of God. Yes. Woman, you got to know how to dress and carry That's yourself. That's right. That's right. Oh, y'all ain't yes. saying nothing. Woman, you got to know how to dress. I don't care if you're young or old. What you walking around with old men's skirt on? What you showing all those wrinkles for? Nobody want to see your wrinkles by. Shut him out. Say it now. Come on. You ain't young like you used to be. All right. Come on. Oh, God, help me today. So, women, what am I telling you? Dress become holiness. Yes. Well, they laugh at me, Brother Taylor. They look at my long dress. That's all right. That's and they put all right. me down. They laugh and giggle behind my back. And uh -huh. I don't feel so good. And listen what the word said. When you're being ridiculed or persecuted for the name of the Lord, yeah. amen, for the word of the Lord, you're looking according to God's word. On, he didn't tell you to walk around with old hung down here. But he said, Blessed are ye when they shall revile you and say all manner evil against you for my name's sake. Come on. He didn't say walk around with old hung down here. He said, Rejoice! 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 I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Well, obey God. Do it anyhow. Shout amen. 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 Rejoice. Hallelujah. And be glad. Amen. For great is your reward. God knows when you're behind closed doors. Amen. And nobody else is there. The ears of the Lord. He listens. And the yes, he does. eyes of the Lord is in every place. Yes, don't you know darkness is like light to God? Yes. He see you coming. He see you going. He know what you're going to do in the dark. And he knows very well what you're going to say and what you're going to do in the night. Amen. And in the daytime. God knows. Yes, he does. Don't you walk around and act like God don't know. He knows. Yes, he does. I'm going to tell you like he told Job. Job said, my record is up on high. Yes. God got your name. God got your record. And there won't be no confusion. God won't confuse you with another. Even if you're twins, God will not confuse that twin that's one that's All saved right. with the one that's All not right. saved. Right. God, God. Say amen, everybody. Yes, amen. Your record is up on high. So I'm encouraging you today, my beloved sister, be strong in the Lord. Continue to work. Yes. The devil desire to have you. The devil desire to sip you. The adversary, the enemy, he wants you to shut your mouth, saints. He don't want you to testify. Come on. Come on. Amen, everybody. Amen. The devil don't want you to tell of God's goodness. Amen. He wants you to stop you in your track. And don't you give him no place. You get up and testify anyhow. Amen. Amen. Overcame him by the words of your testimony and by yeah. the blood of the Lamb. When you get up and testify anyhow, don't you know that devil look at you and say, oh, come on, come on. he'll back off. All right. But long as he know he can put your foot, put his foot on you, hold you down, he's going to keep it there. Amen. How many know you got to break loose? Yeah. Shorty yeah. mine. Yeah. The yeah. devil yeah. desire yeah. to take you back come into on. a world of sin. Y'all yes. ain't yeah. saying nothing to me. Yeah. The devil is a person. The devil, he has a soul. He can think. He desire. He has a feeling. He desire. He told concerning Job, he said, turn him over to me. I'll make him curse you to your face. Yes. He has a desire. But how many know Job stood his ground? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Shout yes, he did. Hallelujah. Life does not consist. In the abundance of things that you possess. Amen. Don't you dare go out here and get yourself a head over heels in debt. Trying to live like the Joneses, honey. Be content with such things that you have. Thank God for every piece of karma bread. Thank God for every nickel, every dime, every quarter. Be content. Thank God you got what you have. Thank God he blessed you to have what you have. Be glad and thank God for what you already have. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory to God. Amen, everybody. Amen. Tell our neighbor, let's go higher. Come on, tell the neighbor. Take them by the hand. Say, let's go higher. 
You can't afford to stay there. You got to go higher. You got to go stronger. You got to go higher. You got to increase. You can't just stay there. Amen. Praise the Lord. We got to go higher. Higher. Woo, higher. 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 Higher, Lord. Higher, Lord. Higher, Jesus. Higher, Jesus. Listen to what he said to you, missionary. Higher in the word of God. Amen. Woo. Amen. Deeper depths and higher heights. Good God from thine. Yeah. More utterance, more utterance, more utterance. Woo. Hallelujah. Enrich even the more. Higher in the depths in the word of the Lord. Good God Almighty. I heard God say, I saw your dedication. I look upon your commitment. You studied sometimes. It was, whoo, my God. But you kept on studying. It was a tire. It was kind of a tiresome thing. Amen. But you didn't go weary. You kept right on studying. Amen. Woo, you kept right on seeking me. Amen. Hallelujah. I heard God say, listen, daughter, I'm a rewarder of them that diligently seek me. Shout amen, everybody. Come on and shout glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. No devil. No devil. He want to stop you, missionary. That line stinks. He desire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. You can tell the devil. Listen to me. Listen to me close. Maybe you don't know the word like some people, other people know the word. Listen to me closely. How many know you got power, you got authority? Honey, you can tell the devil, back off, devil. Yes, yes. yes you can. Amen. 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 Come on. Your mouth, your voice. Don't you not know you're anointed? Oh, he recognizes the anointing, honey. Come on. And all you got to say, back off. Back off. Woo! Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Maybe you don't remember all the word, but you got enough sense to say, back off. I see you. Back off. Don't be afraid of him. Amen. Amen. You bold. Don't be afraid of that devil. You got what it takes. Come on. Devil tell you you ain't you ain't got what it takes. You don't have what it takes. Let the devil know he's a liar. Yes. How many know you got to stand your ground? Yes. Amen, everybody. Amen. Amen. I told you once and I'll tell you again. That devil don't mean you no good. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And each victory will help you. I tell you, let me tell you something. Every time, even the devil have a desire, right? He yes. want to destroy you, right? Yes. You stood your ground. But Peter, in this case, mm -hmm. sorry to say, Peter failed. All right. Because so Peter told him, say, after he told Peter, uh, told, after he ministered to Peter, told him, he said, Peter, he said, Peter told him, the Lord, I'll die for you. Mm -hmm. And you know what he did. He started out pretty good. He started right. cutting the ear off the fellow. Right. Y'all read it? It's in the book? Yes, yes. But later on, you read where Peter did fall. Amen. He, he said to him, I'm going to tell you, don't you know the Lord knows what you have to go through? Amen. Amen, everybody. He Amen. knows things are going to happen before they even take place. Yes, yes. What did he tell Peter? Amen. He said, Peter, before the cock crow thrice, okay. Amen. you're going to deny me, Peter. Amen. Disown me. Amen. Amen. How many know what happened? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And one time he told him, he said, pray that you enter not into temptation. Yeah. Why sleep ye? Get up. Pray. Yeah. How many know you got to pray? Y'all, some, some, some folks don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you got a supplication, prayer and supplication. Amen. What do you mean by that? Sometimes you got to pray. pray. Sometimes when you're a little tired, like you kind of tired, you got to pray, pray. Come on, come on. and not get weary. Pray! Come on. Come on. As long as the Holy Ghost is moving you, pray! Yes. Hallelujah. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. The word of God saying, ye beloved. Building up yourself. Yes. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Yes. The Holy Ghost knows there's trouble up ahead. So the Holy oh. Ghost is about to build you up. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Yes. Pray. Yes. Not just when folks are around you, but pray. Y'all yes. ain't saying nothing. Yes. Learn how to pray to you. Amen. How do they say? Pray to you. Break through. Pray, pray, pray. Yes. Come on. Just pray. Pray to him. Yes. Talk to him. Cast your cares upon him. Yes. Ah, God, there's trouble in my home. I need your help. Yes. My wife and I, we need your help, Lord. Well, That's it. Husband and wife, it's all right if you pray together. It's all right, amen. Let's be joined hands, Lord. In the name of the Lord, amen. we want to let you know that we love you. Yes. If we will ever want to do right concerning you, Almighty, talk to him. Yes. Now, Lord, help us, Lord. That's it. That's it. Help us, Lord. Say it. Amen. He said, but I pray for you. Yes. Yes. That your faith fail you not. Fail not. Hallelujah. Yes. Pray to the master. Hallelujah. Call upon him. Yes. 
Shout amen. amen. Shout glory. glory. He's a mediator between God and man. Yes. He's a high priest. Yes, he is. He's encouraging you today. He's speaking to your heart. He's speaking to your very soul. Don't care if that devil don't never like it. He's speaking to you right now. He's saying, come boldly to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Boldly hear me. Don't walk with your old head up high and all this other stuff. He's talking about come believe him. Yeah. When you pray to him, know that he hears you. Come believe him. Yes. Come believe him and trust him in God. Amen. Come boldly with faith, knowing that God will, God shall. And God's going to bring us out. God's going to do it. God's going to help us. Shout amen, amen. somebody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah. Come boldly. Thank Believing you. God's going to do it for your daughter. Thank you, God. Woo. I heard him say, I heard you cry. But we have not a high priest that's not touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Come on now. Huh? But he was tempted like as you. Don't you fool yourself. He was tempted. Yes. But he didn't yield. He didn't bow to the devil. Amen. He told the devil, get thee hence. It is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. Yes. And him only shall thy serve. Yes. He told the devil, listen, devil, it is written. Amen. Thou shalt serve him and on him only. Yes. It is written that man should not live by bread alone. But by every word. That proceeded out of the mouth of God. Come on. Well, I feel all right now. Yes. There's an anointing right now across the word of God. Yes. Amen. Young man, young lady, you're old enough to know the difference between right and wrong. All right. Are you listening? Amen. You're in this service today. I'm going to tell you the truth. You're old enough to know the difference between right and wrong. Yes. Come on now. What is the requirements of God? Not so much your mother and your father, because mother and father, sometimes they don't live nothing. They live like sinners. They, right. they bring in their girlfriend and boyfriends. Right. Hey Amen. You notice I said girlfriends. Ain't no woman got no business bringing in no girlfriend. All right. Hey Amen. Amen. Neither you, man. Right. Young man, you watch that stuff, and Amen. somebody trying to feel on you, and Amen. you playing with dolls, and no, no. got little dresses on. Some of the parents, they say, oh, you look so good in that dress, boy. Mm. Lose hair. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's a mental, that's what you call a mental yes. abuse. Yes. You don't tell a little boy he look good in a dress. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. What's the matter with you? You don't do that. No. I know what's wrong with you. You got sin in you. All right, all right. You don't want your boy, you wish that boy was a girl. So here. Boy, you put on girls' things. You put on underclothes, all that other stuff. Uh -uh. Amen. That's corrupt. That's abominable. Yes, That's is. wicked. That's yes, sinful. Is. I'm here to yes, tell you today, is. whether you like Brother Taylor or not, it's the truth. It's the truth. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise Amen. I'm accustomed. I used to move around. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to move around. <laughs> That's just my... Amen. Amen. But praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Cameron, I'm talking about people out there listening right now. Yes. You'll be surprised. All type of spirits out there. Yes. Amen. Amen. Religious spirits thinking they're right when they're wrong. When they're wrong. They say, my preacher don't preach like that. They, they say it's all right to have a boyfriend and a girlfriend. See? After all, religion wasn't designed to make your pleasures no less. And God understands because when I get to heaven, he got a scale up there. He's going to, my good, I weigh my bad. I'm all right. He's going to say, enter in. Not so. That devil is a liar. The word of God, so you die. So you, the way you live, that's the way you die. You die a sinner. You live a sinner. You die a sinner. Ain't no pope, no priest can put you out of no purgatory. Ain't no pope down here on this earth pray for you. No. What I'm talking about that. I'm talking about going to the media like he's a mediator. Yeah. Confessing your sins to a man. Yeah. Not so now. Not so. Not That's so. The, Christ said, I am the way. Yes. I'm the way, the truth, and the Hallelujah. life. No man come to God the Father. Come on, come on. But by and through come me, on. you check it out. A lot of these, amen, church people. Some people don't like me to talk about the church people. But the word of God talk about them. Amen. Preach it, Timothy. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt. Tell them about their wrong. Amen. amen. A lot of these so-called preachers, they're going out with the women. They're going out and they're molesting their children. Yes. Call themselves the preachers, a pope. My amen. God. The Bible should have a form of godliness. But denying, but denying the power thereof. Shout amen. amen. We don't run with them. We don't get together. We don't fellowship with these people. On, if we walk in the light, as he's in the light, we the saints of God. 
have fellowship one with another. Shout amen, everybody. When you live holy, holy. Woo. I said when you live in holy, holy, you can lift up holy hands yes, in the sanctuary. On, Woo, glory Hallelujah. to God. I used to shoot dice and yeah. used to put my hands on a woman where they weren't supposed to go. All right. I used to do all those things. Yeah. But now I come into the sanctuary of the Lord and I can lift up holy hands. Yeah. I can lift up holy, holy hands. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, hallelujah. Because there's therefore now condemn no condemnation. Right, it, let me tell you something. If you live in holy and righteous, ha, yes. honey, you have a right to praise him. Yes, you do. You ought not to care what the folks might say, Come how on. the folks were looking and all this other stuff. You need some power, honey. If you yeah. got the power, you don't care who's looking at you. Right. You're going to praise your God. Yeah. You're going to go forth and praise him. Yeah. And I heard God say, let the young and the old go forth and praise me. Yeah. You got to praise him sometimes yeah. when you don't feel like praising him. Right you got to know how to leap for joy. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Glory. I said, hallelujah. Yes, the devil hallelujah. is out of heaven. The devil is out. He wants you to sit there. Yes, act yes. like God can't help you. He wants you to sit there. Yes. Act like God won't deliver you. Right. He wants you to sit there. Yes. Act like God is not on the throne. Huh? On. But God is saying, reach up. Right, Call on me. Hallelujah. Look, hallelujah. God is saying, not Taylor, but God is saying, look up, honey. Yes. And praise your God. Yes. Look, Stop looking all down. Stop looking all confused. Amen. Stop feeling all down and out. Yes. Yes. Amen. And walk strong in the Lord. Yes. Don't look all down as though God can't help you. Come on. I heard David say, I lift my eyes to the hills. Yes. From whence cometh my help. Yes. My help don't come from you. Come on. Come on. My help comes from the living God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm a witness yes. for my Lord. Hallelujah. I know what God can do. Come on. I know what the Lord God has done. Yes, I know him for myself. Come on. And you can't make me doubt him. Right, I say hallelujah. Well, glory to God. Amen. God don't want you to walk around in fear. Are you listening? I said God don't want you to walk around in fear. For well, he said fear not little flock. Yes. The devil brings fear. Yes. And God is saying to you. Listen to me. God is saying I have not given you the spirit of fear. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why some folks are afraid of fear. I was preaching, I was teaching, I was ministering on the west side of Chicago. My wife and I, I miss her today. My wife and I. Well, she's not as young as she used to be, so Amen. neither am I. Neither. But she didn't. The, the mind said, okay, but Come the body on. said a different. But well, listen to this. My wife used to work right by, ooh, she was right there by my side. Y'all hear me? And before I tell this story, listen to this. I told you they wanted to kill the little brother Taylor, right? After I preached. Amen. The family and all of them. They, I mean, it was ooh, one lady stood up and she, I mean, a packed house, brother. She stood up in the midst while I was yet preaching. You hear me? And ministering God's word. She had the audacity, the nerve to stand up in that middle aisle and say, sit her down. Sit that preacher down. You know what I told her? I said, woman, you go back to your seat and set your little self down. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. She obeyed. Right. Yeah. And my yeah. wife said there was anointing in that place. Yeah. There was a power in that place. Yes, amen. Guess who first to get up and walk out? When I, said, when I told him, I said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Yes. Guess what's the number one staple, staple? When he got up, a whole bunch of them got up. Mm. Right now. Did Brother Taylor stop preaching? No. That's right. That's I'm going right. to tell you the truth, honey. Right. Because of this anointing, because of God's word, amen. people was literally falling out faint. My God. Yes. I mean, it was faint. What happened? Well... I'm going to tell you like it is. Some people can't take the truth. Right. They hate you. They get against you because you tell them the truth. Amen. Amen. Young man, I told them, young man, you can't be going out and doing the dope, smoking that marijuana and right. stuff. I don't care if it is right. legalized. Amen. That stuff will kill you. Yes, it will. Amen. Young ladies, young lady, y'all listening to me? Come don't, on. I don't care if they do legalize it. Don't you go out here and get, on, get hooked on that marijuana right. stuff. Right, right. Over yeah. in Vietnam, I know what it can do to you. Come on now. You hear me today? Amen. I'm going to teach you if you've never been taught before. Listen, right. you hear me today. That stuff is no good for you. No, it's not. Well, the doctor says it is way with the doctor. Let every man be alive and let God's word be true. Come God on. said, amen, you destroy this temple, I'll destroy you. Amen. And that stuff will destroy you. Yes, yes, it's a destructive yes. force. Yes. Am I right? Yes, yes, it is. 
I don't care what the doctor said. What way was the doctor? What did God say? What did the word say? The word said, every man be a lie. Let my word be true. Stay away from it. I seen them over in Vietnam. Young people sitting around like Indians and sit around with a big jug, a five-gallon jug, and they fill it up with marijuana. They, over there was none cut straight out of the field. And they'll fill it up. I'm telling you what I saw, what I saw. But thank God he blessed me. He didn't let me go that yes. way. There was nothing but God yes. keeping me. Amen. 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 Is these form a circle. They sit around. They have a big five-gallon jug. And they fill it up with dope marijuana. And they have straws protruding out of it. They had straws just going this way. And they sit around like Indians, powwow, legs crossed and everything. And every one of them sucked. Every one of them took a turn. And listen at this, at the end of it, you let me tell you something, what happened? Real quick, what happened? I seen the results of it. They would sit around and they were just out of this world. Their minds are out in another world. They, they don't, they, they live in the dead. They're just zombies. They're just out of it. And listen at this, it had an effect on a young man. He was in my early 20s. He was in his early 20s. But he over there got hooked on that stuff. And he came to my barracks one day. And he couldn't stand up. Leave it all. Eyes all blood red. And face looked like he was 60 some odd. But he's only about 20 some. Wrinkled and carried on. Couldn't stand up straight. And he said, man, man, you all look right. You know what? God gave me enough sense to see. I said, looking at you is enough for me. Are y'all listening? Amen. I don't want to be like that. That's right. Amen. 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 I can't get too many claps out there. Come on. You're right. But fear is a dangerous thing. Y'all hear me? Sometimes it's from the devil. It's not from God. It's from the devil. This woman, my wife and I, we went. And by the way, they went to my wife at that funeral. It was a funeral. And they went to my wife because people was, want me to sit down. So they went over to my wife, right? And my wife was just sitting there, amen, the word, clapping, the, thanking God for the word. They went over there and told us, like, can't you sit him down? Can't you sit him down? You know what the wife told him? She said, I'm not going to let the Lord get me. All right. And she kept on saying, amen, brother, amen. Amen. Right. amen. It's a dangerous thing. Yes. They couldn't handle it, Bishop. Yeah. I said, and the big urchin stood up against the wall. I'm telling you the truth. My wife was just here witness. I mean, big Hurley, big, big old giant like. I guess the, 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 the funeral director told him, go set that man down. And guess what? They came and stood against the wall. They just couldn't do nothing. See? They couldn't handle it. They couldn't do it. The anointing. How many know the anointing breaks every yoke? But fear. Y'all hear me today. On the west side of Chicago, this woman had fear. She was so much afraid that she was afraid to leave a house. Mm. You know, you, she was afraid to go shopping. Right. She couldn't even go shopping because of fear. Torment. Fear is a torment, brother. And she was afraid to go out of her house. My wife and I went there. We listened to her. And we prayed for that lady. How many know you're in the right place today? Yeah. Amen. Right. Before this service ends, I want to pray for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. How many want? How many desire to have prayer? Want prayer today? Amen. How many Amen. want prayer? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Come on. God is a deliverer. Amen. Look. Amen. Amen. And the lesson goes on. When thou art converted, Peter, he says, strengthen your brother. Amen. Not that Peter was not saved, but Peter. Amen. How many know? If you, I'm stuck in the ditch and you stuck in the ditch, you can't help me. Amen. If I'm stuck in mud, how can you help me and you stuck in mud? Amen. If I'm in quicksand, I'm drowning, I'm, I'm going under, I can't help you. Right. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. But when you got it, you got that strength. And today, amen, I want to encourage your hearts today. Amen. I want to share something with you, and I believe that's going to be by the power of God. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. You're going to feel something. Oh, my God. You're going to feel something. I'm speaking by faith. God's going to touch you. You know, mm, God's going to touch you today. We're not playing no games here. This thing is real. Amen, everybody. The word of God is real. The power of God, it real. It's real. That's right. Amen. I had some other scriptures, but I'm not going to go there. But Peter, I'm put your name there. The devil wants you. But the day before you leave this place today, honey, you're going to have more power. 
More strength. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. Amen. But you got to stop walking with those little weak people, those little weak crowd. You know, always talking down, always complaining, always murmuring, always on, grumbling. Always got a negative stuff. Yeah, but the Lord's going to bless us. I don't know about that. <laughs> Amen. You walk with the strong, you become stronger. You walk with the wise, you become wise. Amen, everybody. Amen. Yes, he can. Stand to your feet real quick. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To your children and all. Listen, the devil don't care. Children and no children. He don't care. Oh, my brother.